Okay, so we're back with Martin now. And uh, Martin, can you tell us a bit about the game you, we can see behind us? Yes, um, for my day job, I work for a studio called TikTok Games in Horbury. Um, we, I've worked there for three and a half years. And in that time, I've mostly worked on porting existing games to other platforms. Um, so I've worked on a lot of Android titles, iOS titles, Mac ports, Steam games. Um, worked on some console things as well. Um, this game in particular, this is um, a Bitmap Brothers game from 2001 called Zed Steel Soldiers. Um, we published their original Zed game, like a reboot of that for mobile, and, and it's on Steam as well. Um, Zed Steel Soldiers was their like 3D version of it, and it was in 2001. It was quite innovative for a, for a, an RTS game, um, but it, at that time there were so many other people making 3D RTS games that it kind of got covered by lots of technically better games at the time, and uh, and the Bitmap Brothers went on to make to make like one more game after that, which was uh, World War II Frontline Command, um, but. Because we had the contact with Bitmap Brothers, we got the contract to do this, and we, we uh, encouraged Mike Montgomery from Bitmap Brothers to let us do a HD reboot of this. Um, we spent about a year and a half, two years, I think, on it before it got released on Steam and mobile as well. So it's available currently on iOS, Android, and Steam, uh, and Mac. Um, and basically, we, we took their original code, so it's all the original Bitmap Brothers code, just compiled to run on new PCs uh, and we updated all the graphics of it, uh, added new particle effects, new shaders and all that kind of stuff because it was, a, it was written at a time where 3D was really new and, uh, and, and we kind of brought it into the, into the Steam age, you know, so, and, and especially over the last few months uh, I was working on adding a proper fog of war to it because it didn't even have a proper fog that obscured everything. Um, so, and that, that was, it, it was one of the things that none of the fans have ever asked for, but we knew it would make a big, a big difference to the game and would make it a lot more like other RTS games that you play at the, at the moment. Um, so we just pushed that update out to Steam about two weeks ago, and we've had quite a, a nice, uh, a, a lot of feedback from it. The, the, the fans saying they really like it, um, but we're now trying to kind of drive the community a bit and get people playing it because there's not a whole lot of people playing it, and. Um, but it is a really good game and we're getting really good reviews now. Um, so, like, with this, um, what was your fundamental role on it? Um, I'm, I'm a senior programmer at TikTok. Um, we have four senior programmers there because we're quite a small company and we're, we're all quite, um, quite good at what we do. Um, so, uh, early on in the project, I had to take the original Bitmap Brothers code and get it working on a mo on a modern PC, and it just it just didn't work because it was it was nearly 15 years old and it was written using APIs that just don't exist anymore, and I had to update it and get it working on a modern PC, and then we had to hook up and gel into it to get it working on mobiles, and um, so so that was uh, that was like a collaborative effort. But my my part overall has been just mainly getting the graphics of it kind of upgraded and getting it working and um, and in general that's that's what i end up being asked to do at tiktok is like you know we need new shaders we need new graphical things i, I hook them into whatever we're doing um, and and recently i've been looking at more like gameplay improvements because there's lots of things in it that in 2001 they were probably like really innovative and really worked really well but now they kind of look like old-fashioned compared to modern rts games so we've been trying to update it even further but you kind of get into the point where it's no longer a hd remake it's a completely new game and um so so yeah that's that's my part of the, of the project is kind of making it look really nice and feel really nice when you're playing it so as far as releases go um, can you give us the synopsis on any kind of release schedule, where it's going, what it's on? Yeah, um, it was out on Steam a year ago, um, and we've been continuously update, updating it and supporting the community. Uh, it was out on Android about the same time. Uh, it's out on iOS now as well. Um, we've got a skirmish, multi, like a kind of uh, multiplayer against AI in the Steam version, and I think it's in the iOS version, I can't remember it, but it's not in Android or something like that. But, but we, I'm, that's my job now is to get this version working on iOS and Android because um, a lot of the graphical improvements um, 
we've really pushed it to like kind of what a PC can do. Um, and some of them uh, might not make it to the iOS and Android versions, but, but as long as the core gameplay is, is like retained, that's, that's all we care about. Um, so if, if we want to sacrifice the shadow quality on an iOS, then that, 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 that's what will that's what happen. Um, in terms of bringing it to other platforms, I don't really think we've got any concrete details yet. It's, it's like if, if we got approached by someone and they wanted to do it on Xbox, PS4, whatever, uh, and the deal was right for the company, we'd probably do it. But we're a small company, so we kind of we kind of survive on these deals coming in, and that's a you know if, if a deal doesn't come, we won't we won't do it. So uh, you know we need we need that that kind of security to do, to do the project. Um, so yeah, I'd, I'd love to bring it to Xbox One and PS4 because I've got experience working on those platforms. But um, doing it in my work time is probably not going to happen until we get a deal for it. No, that's brilliant, man. Well, thanks ever so much for introducing you to uh, all the games. Yeah, thank you. Cheers, buddy. Thank you very much. Have a good evening. <laughs>